Browns Creek Waterfalls, which is uh, just outside of Buena Vista, Colorado. Up here just doing a day hike, and we decided to come to some waterfalls and just check them out. And I think I'm going to try and do some long exposures this afternoon. Hopefully, you guys can hear me all right. So, yeah, I think I'm going to pull out the ND filter and try and do some long exposures with these and try a few different spots and just uh, do some waterfall photography today. Okay, at least let's expose that section there. I think I'm going to move on to the other side of the falls. There'll be some cool composition of the other spots that I think will be fun to try out. I honestly don't know if any ones that I just got there were any good, but it's kind of play to experiment with different stuff and see, see what works, see what doesn't. And I haven't shot like waterfalls in a long time, so it's kind of fun to get back to doing that again. Now I'm going to cross, cross the river again, cross this fun little log bridge. It's pretty cool. We are now at a completely different location in Colorado from where we were last week when I filmed the first part of this video, shooting some more waterfalls here. And honestly, I think this is maybe even more of a beautiful location. It's just near a spot where we camped out last night with our tent and really dodged the rain and everything. But this morning, we woke up and the sun's coming out. A nice cloud cover, but not too much. And yeah, just beautiful little cascade here behind me. Nice, like, stream kind of run through here, and just great wildflowers and greenery all around this. So, I think it creates just a really nice leading line up to that. So, yeah, just kind of hang out here, taking some more photos and some more waterfalls, shooting some more waterfalls. I love shooting waterfalls. And personally, for me, I generally like to shoot a lot of my landscape photography, you know, around like sunset, sunrise, light like that. But personally, waterfalls, I a lot of times I shoot at midday because I'm not really worried about like colors in the sky or anything like that so I love shooting waterfalls midday and even right now we're getting some like scattered clouds we have some sunlight just coming through and lighting this up right here but I'm still in the shade where I'm at I think that creates some really nice lighting conditions for shooting scenes like this but yeah we'll see how the photos turn out but yeah beautiful beautiful waterfall location here in the Holy Cross wilderness area here in north central Colorado <music> Okay, so the first spot I just shot was just down there, that last clip I filmed, which was just down over this way. Now we're back closer up in the, close to the waterfall, getting a different angle. And this is a pretty cool spot too, so I'm gonna try this spot as well. A lot of nice water, like wildflowers and stuff along the edges there. It's a really pretty cascade, like one of the prettier ones I've seen in a while. It's kind of hidden off here, like off the trail, you know, but we just kind of spotted this morning. And yeah, it's got my variable ND filter on my camera here, which I actually use ND filters, you know, not too too often, but they're good to have for, you know, stuff like this. If you're trying to slow down water and do longer exposures, you kind of need to have ND filters, especially when shooting in midday light such as this. Um, yeah, so ND filters are a good thing to have for landscape photography. <music> Mosquitoes are getting absolutely terrible here right now, so we're probably going to go in a second. But I have quite a few photos of this fall here. I don't really have any thoughts on kind of how I feel about shooting waterfalls. I don't know if I want to call them tips or maybe some guidelines that I follow. Is I definitely prefer to shoot midday, but generally mostly cloudy or overcast guys. I mean, it's not nice to get some good light on it, but also, like, it doesn't always work if it's like, I feel like if it's too much light, then it doesn't work too well. So today I really like the fact that it's like, Pretty soft light today, not any harsh shadows. That's always pretty good for shooting and in general for me with shooting landscapes. I prefer shooting with like, you know, softer light is generally preferred. I really like to pick locations where I can really focus in on my subject, use like basically the other cascades and falls below it as like leading lines up to like the main one there. Um, 
Yeah, and just kind of try to frame the subject a bit, and like what the landscape around it is, you know, kind of doing. If that makes any sense. It's kind of vague, but those are kind of some of the few guidelines that I follow when shooting waterfalls in landscapes. So, yeah, it's pretty much it with that. So if you guys are curious, this is an ND filter I was using today, and all the filters that were taking this entire video, and I guess all the long filters I'm taking any video to this point, it's a Bauer. ND filter. This is the 65, 67 millimeter. That's what fits the lens I'm using. The Lumix 8 to 18. Um, yeah, so that's the ND variable variable ND filter that I'm using. Is this Bauer one right here? I'm gonna wrap up this video right here. We gotta go pack up our tent and hike back down to the car. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on um, shooting some did some long exposure photography of waterfalls here in Colorado the last two weeks. This week, last week, and this week. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel down below for more landscape photography vlogs like this one. And uh, yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video.